Hey, it's What's Her Name, and I'm playing Dragons and Elves or Merge Elves. And in this video, I want to see whether by bubbling my elf houses or let's have a quick look. Yep, Stumpy Elf House, level 2. By bubbling them, whether I'll actually reduce the cost of them. Because at the moment, if I go and have a look at how much they're going to cost me. As you can st see, the Stumpy Elf House is going to cost me 560 stone. The Stone Elf House is going to cost me 71 stone. So, I want to see whether we can bubble them and if that reduces them. Like in some of the other merge games, such as Merge Dragons, where if you bubble your Dragon Houses, Dragon Homes, they reduce in price so I'm trying to fill up the map I want to get it as full as I possibly can so there's no more room left so I can use these lovely giant golden fruit to bubble these I've never done it before in this game I'm hoping the results are the same I'm trying to get enough of my elves hands full with items to drop but I have a slightly different technique for what I use in this game to what I use in other games because of how the golden apple, the golden fruit can often um, merge and you lose them. So I think we're ready. I think everybody's got their hands full. So let's hold that over there for a second. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that over there. That's the place I want to bubble. As you can see, my elves are flying along with their loop that they've got and they've got a couple uh well they've got a few um orbs rough orbs so i'm trying to heal a bit more land to give me a bit more room i did manage to clear up my home and now i'm going to make a mess again oh well so that's the way it goes right come on then are we done and i just hover in there which oh maybe not Nope, not yet. So we have to leave two squares on the map because that's all that you're allowed to leave is two squares. So I still have one hovering there with a rough orb. Hasn't dropped it. Somebody else has said there's no space. So let's try this. Let's. Right, I'm now going to let go. Okay. That looks like it's bubbled. And all my other elves are flying into other elf homes. Okay, so let's go and take another look back at what the elf house is now worth. Oh, it's gone down to 59. And that's gone down to 470. So let's bubble some more. Right, I'm going to move this over here because I want them to gather over there. I don't want them to gather all round where I'm trying to actually bubble because they're just getting in the way as you can see everybody wants more space but I want more orbs I'm going to do orbs today sometimes it depends what you're working on sometimes I do stone because I can work on my stone over there but today I'm going to do orbs something easy to merge that won't take too long to clean up it's normally quite handy so if you don't fancy cleaning them up, you can just pop them off. I'm going to hover over here for a bit, wait for them all to come flowing over. They're lovely little orbs. Nice level orb there. Okay, I'm hoping that's it. Is it? Oh, no, not quite. Are we done? I think we might be done. Right, okay, and they've all come zooming back out again. So, of course, once you bubble them, there's nowhere to go. Oh, as you can see, all these elves. Okay, move this out of the way. Oh, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's what I want to do. Okay, so zoom in a bit so I can actually see. Right, these are my level three homes. So, I might save my level two and bubble my level three. Let's have another look and see how much they now cost. So my stump elf house is down to 380. 
and my stone elf house level one is down to 47 that's pretty awesome so let's put all those last two shall we please ignore any noise in the background as my son's getting very excited all right we're going to get some more orbs I'm going to do a bit more pretending to merge those and then I'm going to, as you can see, because I didn't move the uh, golden fruit, they're now all hovering over here and they can often get in the way and you can't really see what you're doing. That's why I tend to try and move it where they're going to fill. So, are they done? Are they done? But sometimes you can have an accidental it will sometimes the game will glitch and it will just it will just decide that it'll either merge the golden fruit or it will bubble the golden fruit so i just want to make sure that if it does glitch it will bubble what i want it to bubble or it'll just move it into another place and nothing's lost so there we go right we've got those down now Okay, so let's move these out of the way. There we go. It's out of the way. Now, how much are they going to cost us? So, where are they? I'm going mad. No, nope, the screen's not working either. So now we're down to 11 for the stone elf home which is brilliant and that's what you want and the stump elf, elf home is down to 110 so even better so I'm thinking if it's worked with the stump elf homes it's going to work with the gem warehouses and with your small stone warehouse at the moment you can see my small stone warehouse is 525 and my simple stone warehouse is 80 so for me to build those up it's going to cost quite a bit of stone to do that as you can see i've only got 100 stone at the moment and that's normally what's left in your camp when you let's give this a try well, I wasn't planning on this one, but let's do this anyway. Let's bubble that. And let's bubble that. Because to get farther in the game, really, what you need to do is you need to work on these items. You need to work on your stone storage. You need to work on your gem storage because items are things go up. And often you'll find that you won't have enough room in your storage to actually buy anything so this looks like it's going to be the cheapest way to oh, what's going on there to actually increase the amount of storage and the amount of room you have for your gems and your stone so let's make sure all our elves are back again with their hands full should be pretty cool give us a minute Oh, there's two there. I think that should be enough. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to hover that over there. And we'll wait for those elves to come drop down there. Hopefully that should be it. Okay, right. Let's see. Let's do this right. We'll bubble the two biggest ones to begin with. Move them out of the way. So they're not in the way. Let's go check out our stone. Right, as you can see, the level one is now down to 26, and our small stone warehouse is down to 255. So, okay, I've still only got 100 stone. Right, let's bubble some level threes. I think that's a level two. Let's leave the level two for now. Let's uh, bubble the level three. Okay, let's go back over here and let's do this again it does seem like it gets a little bit monotonous it does 
but when you think of the benefits you're going to get from the fact that you can bubble these items reduce how much it's going to cost you and that way you have to harvest less stone you have to have a smaller you can have a smaller storage for the stone to get them and it also helps with the gem warehouses because they can all get really really expensive after you've got to a certain level but i think that's done there we go now let's go check it out again and see what we're up to now oh wow and our simple stone warehouse is now down to eight and our stone states our small stone warehouse is down to 165 so we can't actually buy the level two but we could buy a lot of the level eight so that would be amazing to actually just increase your stone storage that way we've managed to reduce the the stone storage we've managed to reduce the elf house so the stump elf house we've reduced that I tend to find is you might be better to work on your stone so when you do want to work on your elf homes you've got enough stone to then if you fancy doing the level two there to actually go and purchase it pretty much the same with the gem warehouse if you do get your stone and you have a lot more stone you can actually buy the higher level so it might be a bit faster to up that to those gem warehouses rather than going with the level one as you can see my level one at the moment is 140 uh, gems you have to buy the first ones with gems and then the second one the level two is 580 but I still have 219 gems in my gem storage at the moment so I don't fancy wasting any because if it's worked on those two I would imagine I'll tell you what let's do a couple of the gem warehouses hopefully not too many because I do believe if you do them that you may lose your gems so let's take a level four and let's take another level four and we'll see what this is going to do so this is the best way to do your building build up these items also with the I don't know what would happen if you actually bubbled your last um, elf, where, your elf house I have no idea but I've never tried it and I think it might be better not to try it I can't imagine a lot would happen but we would best not to try it okay right let's give this one a go okay let's go there I've moved yet. Well, let's try it again. Yep, they're moving. So, as they're moving, let's go over here and let's go and over here and let's hopefully we're going to drop them. Well, I think that's it. Oh no, as you can see, because they hadn't actually filled the land I wasn't able to actually bubble they moved so do I have to try and be a bit of patient and as I can't see it now there we go so let's move that over there so I can see and let's go back here there you go as you can see it's because they were still thinking that there was there was no room to put them but there was so Okay, are we done? Have they done them? Let's just wait another minute. To make sure that everything's dropped. See one space. Right, let's try this. There we go. See? And because there the land was full, it's now bubbled them. Let's go check out how much our stone storage is now gonna be worth our gem storage either. Oh, wrong one. Let's go back here. Right, so we're now down to 86 for the gem storage, and we're down to 364 for the gem warehouse. So, this technique does work, and it's the best way to work on those storage options. Of course, your golden leaves doesn't have a storage option, 
it's just as long as you've got as many golden leaves it will fit in there you don't need to do anything for your golden leaves it is mainly your gems your stone and your elf and of course some of the quests can be to i mean at the moment i've got let's see of life flowers turn into sprouts we've got collect magic rainbow gem and to merge mystery eggs so but there are quests where you have to build your elf house your gem warehouses and your stone your stone warehouse so this is the best way to do it and will at some point be increasing it so hopefully I'll have a higher increase in those and now I think am I done bubbling no I have one more item but when I cleaned up my camp I forgot to bubble him because he just doesn't do a lot he just sits there so it's not very useful so we're gonna get we're gonna bubble him and is there anything else I need to bubble oh I'm gonna bubble this this is one of the constellations that I've managed to unlock I haven't tapped it yet I'm trying not to tap it so we'll put that with there so I do have when the next quest comes up to tap a constellation but I've actually got that let's make sure we've got enough hours with things to drop All right, let's move that over there okay so last two bubble items wait a minute sometimes it can get a bit frustrating because you're waiting for the elves to actually get some items but i want to make sure that they have got items otherwise it's a bigger pain to be holding on to it and hoping that you've got them and not as you saw earlier where it just sort of went flying oh no i don't want those i want those to that's what i want i want to get rid of those off my map give myself even more room and I can clean all this up and get back to actually doing something in this home also I need to work on some levels as well so okay are we done check yes and they are bubbled so We've now made more room and also I've now, as you can see, I've got quite a little bit bubbled. I'll probably get told off by the people who do the game, but hey ho, that's life. So, let's move these bubbles out of the way. So, if you're interested in how to bubble, this is the Marcus V technique. Um, there's quite a few people that have also shown how to do it. If you want to check out Toasted Gamer Boutique, she's got several, well, she's got a huge playlist on how to bubble in Merge Dragons. And that's exactly the same technique that I'm using here. So, also, it works in Merge Magic. Just to make sure that, like I said, you've filled your map, there's no room left, you've got two spaces. So if I zoom out, you'll be able to see that my map is full. So there we go. So I have a full map, no more room, and that's the way we can bubble. I've got another video on this if you want to check that out. It's the golden fruit and how to bubble. It's at the moment of the two items that I've found. I haven't found any other bigger items, but I haven't got far up in some of the change yet. There may be some other items that you can use. Hopefully when we find those we'll be able to check them out. So that is how to work on your stone warehouse, your gem warehouse and your elf homes. Good luck. I hope you enjoy building up those um, items to get to higher levels. So your elves will ref refresh faster. Your stone will be enough so you can buy whatever you want and you will have an enormous gem out of all sitting there also good for when you do events and you want to collect all the gems 
got a small small storage unit you have to keep going backwards and forwards another reason to increase your gems especially as this weekend we have the halloween party event coming up so looking pretty cool i've had to play all the halloween games i don't know why perhaps i'm obsessed with halloween but this one looks pretty cool and i've definitely got to go for this one so another double weekend for me I'm sure everybody won't be that happy, but there you go. Enjoy playing, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll check you all again later. See you soon.